Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for July 13th, 2022 from Ezekiel chapter 13, The Soul Hunter. Previously, we heard that God was going to punish the false prophets who were leading God's people away from God. But it's not just the false prophets, but even prophetists, which are female prophets. So from Ezekiel chapter 13, verse 17, And you, son of man, set your face against the daughters of your people who prophesy out of their own hearts, prophesy against them and say, Thus says the Lord God, Woe to the women who sew magic bands upon all wrists and make veils for the heads of persons of every statue in the hunt for souls. Will you hunt down souls belonging to my people and keep your own souls alive? First of all, are there such things as magic bands and veils? Well, if you happen to be a follower of Wiccan, you may actually say yes to that. Keep in mind that the Almighty God is more powerful than any magic bands or veils. So we put our faith and trust in God, remembering our baptism, that God's name was placed upon us at God's command. So as Christians, we don't trust in the things of this world. Instead, we put our faith and trust in Christ, not in magic bands or magic veils, but Jesus Christ. He alone defeats sin, death, and the devil. Verse 19, you have profaned me among my people for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread, putting to death souls who should not die and keeping alive souls who should not live by your lying to my people who listen to lies. Well, here's the problem. God's people were listening to lies. And those lies led them away from God Almighty. Even in today's world, we have the same thing. Yes, God will judge those who were leading them away. But as people of God, we need to listen to the truth of God's word and not put our trust in the things of this world. Verse 20 Therefore, thus says the Lord God, behold, I am against your magic bands with which you hunt the souls like birds, and I will tear them from your arms, and I will let the souls whom you hunt go free, the souls like birds. Your veils also I will tear off and deliver my people out of your hands, and they shall be no more in your hand as prey, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Notice who's doing the rescuing. It's God. God is our Savior. God is the one that frees us from sin, death, and the devil. These women were attacking, going after God's people. And so God has a very strategic response for them. Verse 22, because you have disheartened the righteous falsely, although I have not grieved them, and you have encouraged the wicked that he should not turn from his evil way to save his life, therefore you shall no more see false visions or practice divinations. I will deliver my people out of your hand and you shall know that I am the Lord. These verses should remind us as Christians that we still live in a world where people are using satanic arts and we should avoid these arts, but not fear them. Why? Because Christ indeed has defeated Satan. Christ has defeated the devil. God, Christ has defeated sin and death. We put our faith and trust in Christ. We don't need to fear the things of this world because the Almighty God has loved us, restored us, and forgiven us. And so Ezekiel was telling the people, God's wrath will come upon these people, these prophetists, these prophets who were leading God's people away from God. God's peace.
and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.